How often do you put starch and pasta in your meals? I don't eat pasta, so I just don't even like it. So I don't, so zero for that, for me. Starches, it's something I've experimented with. And, you know, the only forms of starch that I actually like are like banana and potato. Besides that, I don't really eat very starchy food. I guess like a lot of vegetables, some vegetables have a lot of starch in it. But I'm actually currently experimenting with going no starch or very little starch. And I kind of feel a little bit better um, from like a less fiber point of view. So I think like for me, it's, it's, it fluctuates for pasta, nothing. Starch, even if I have it, I'll have like maybe one to two servings in a day. Um, and I don't have starch in every meal because that would just blow me up too much. Like starch. Yeah, starch makes you full, so I don't like that feeling that much. Yeah, I uh, I put carbs in most of my meals. Um, you know, kind of depending on what my goals are. Um, so if you guys have have read my eating framework book, uh, Ten Easy Wins for Easier Fat Loss, uh, you can probably get the link in my bio, my Twitter bio. Traditionally, for the last several years, I would only eat carbs and starch, and I'll use them interchangeably at the level that I craved. And so basically, I, the goal was to eat as few as possible without like feeling like I was depriving myself. And so what that meant at the time was, you know, I'd probably eat about a gram of carbs per pound of body weight, but it, it would just go by my intuition. It wasn't like, okay, I need to eat this amount. It was just like, uh, okay, I actually happen to eat about the same amount every day when I eat intuitively. Over the last year, I've transitioned from, um, I would say, a combination of strength and aesthetics training to more dominantly strength training. And so what that means is uh, I'm lifting heavier weights and it's really, really uncomfortable to go through intense lower body lifting sessions with insufficient carbs in my system. So, you know, what that means, because I'm squatting most weeks, sometimes twice a week, I'm deadlifting most weeks and I'm doing my working sets, you know, heavy last, my, my top working set during squats last week was 400. My working sets uh, in deadlifts is 400 and something pounds. And so if I don't have starch in almost all my meals, I'm also putting myself at injury risk because I'm not yeah. going to have the energy to uh, to execute those lifts that require technical proficiency. So um, I'm more flexible with my carbs now. My body fat's gone up over the last year, but it's not high. I mean, it's it may have gone up one percent in the last twelve months or so, which is probably okay, particularly with coronavirus and what we didn't know about the effects of it. I probably didn't want to be uh, as lean as I was uh, last year at the uh, onset of a uh, of an unquantifiable pandemic. Uh, 